Xinjiang was developed early and was once the most prosperous area in northern Taiwan. Most of its temples, known for their exquisite architecture, were built quite early. There are several temples in Xinjiang town and nearby areas that are over a hundred years old, including the Sanshang Guowang Temple, Siyu Temple, Wuxing Temple, Wancheng Temple, Dizang Temple, Baiyuan Temple, Futur Temple, and Chaojiang Temple. Therefore, Xinjiang town is also known as the Xinjiang Temple Town. In the past, Xinjiang was an important port for imports and exports in northern Taiwan, where merchant ships from China and Japan could sail to Xinjiang. Amazu Temple was built very early in front of the port to bless the ships and people sailing on the sea. Ninety years ago, Xinjiang was a prosperous port in northern Taiwan. Due to the lack of clean drinking water, diseases were rampant. Therefore, developing waterworks to supply good domestic water to Wugu, Xinjiang, and Taishan became an important government policy. The Xinjiang Aqueduct Water Project started in January 1933, using water from the Shibafenking River and Artesian Springs, and was intended to supply water to 8,000 people. It began supplying water in November 1934, covering Xinjiang town and areas like Zhongdang, Ingpan, and Danfeng. In 1966 and 1971, the second and third phases of expansion were carried out, including the construction of rapid sand filtration water purification plants and new rapid sand filter equipment, completed in 1973 to supply water to 98,000 people. During the Japanese occupation, the Xinjiang Headwater Point supplied drinking water to the residents of Xinjiang town. After the completion of the Shimin Reservoir in 1964, the Xinjiang Headwater Point no longer supplied drinking water. After 1976, the Headwater Point retired, leaving behind Japanese-style wooden buildings, a wooden bridge, the Shibafenking River riverbed, a Headwater Memorial Steel, distribution wells, sedimentation tanks, sand filters, and sand filtration wells as reminders of its former glory. The Xinjiang Headwater Point, rich in birds, insects, wildlife, and plants, surrounded by green mountains, chirping insects, croaking frogs, and birdsong, was transformed into a water resource exhibition and education site in 1999, making the Xinjiang Headwater Point a pollution-free tourist attraction. The main headwaters for the Banshin Water Purification Station and the Tao Yuan Area Water Purification Station all come from the Shimin Reservoir. Specifically, the primary headwater for the Banshin Water Purification Station is the water from the after bay of the Shimin Reservoir flowing into the Dahan River. This is extracted at the Yuan Shan Re Pumping Station and then sent to the Banshin Water Purification Station. Another headwater is the extraction of raw water from the Sanxia River, which can be sent directly to the Banshin Water Purification Station or stored at the Yuanshan Weir. Additionally, the Zhongzhuang Retention Basin serves as a backup reservoir for the Shimin Reservoir. When the raw water turbidity of the Shimin Reservoir is high, water can be directly supplied from the Zhongzhuang Retention Basin to the Banshin Water Purification Station. To align with the North to South Water Diversion Policy, important projects for the improvement of the Banshin water supply, such as the Jitan 2nd Raw Water Tunnel and the Jitan 6th Water Purification Facility, were completed. After these developments, the Banshin supply area began receiving water from the Xindian River source, distributed through six major support points to provide clean water to the Banshin supply area. These support points include the Zhonghe Booster Station, Yonghe Yangfu Bridge, Sancheng Wugyuang North Street, Wugu Zhongxing Road, Luzhou Street Ignatius High School, and Bali Guandu Bridge. The Banshin Water Purification Station, in turn, supports the water supply to parts of Tao Yuan. The Banshin Area Water Supply Expansion Project first completed water output in 1976 and was finished in 1978. To meet the growing water demands of the population and industrial and commercial development within the supply area, the second and third phases of expansion were completed in 1982 and 1996, respectively. 
The supply area includes all of 10 districts in New Taipei City Banqiao, Xinjuang, Luzhou, Wugu, Taishan, Bali, Shulin, Tuching, Sanxia, Ingda and parts of Zhonghur and Sanchong, serving about 2 million people with a coverage rate of 98.9%. In the past, the domestic water for areas like Banqiao and Xinjuang was supplied by the Banqin Water Purification Station, with headwaters from Ximin Reservoir, Dehan River, and Sanxia River. With population growth, siltation in the Ximin Reservoir, and high turbidity in raw water caused by several wind disasters, water supply became unstable, leading to the proposal of the Banqin Area Water Supply Improvement Project by the Water Resources Agency of the Ministry of Economic Affairs. The Banqin Area Water Supply Improvement Project adopted inter-regional water source allocation, treating the raw water from Xindian River and supplying it to the Banqin Supply Area through interconnected pipelines. Additionally, the idle equipment capacity of the Banqin water supply system and the headwater from the Dehan River are diverted southward to meet the water demands of the Tao Yuan area. The improvement projects were completed in 2004 and 2019 respectively. Since then, the water supply for 12 areas Bali, Sanchong, Zhanghe, Wugu, Taishan, Luzhou, Shulin, Banqiao, Xinjuang, Tuching, Ingda, and Sanxia has been provided by the Xindian River source. Depending on the capacity of the Jitan Water Purification Station, 720,000 to 810,000 cubic meters of clean water can be transported daily for use in the Banqin water system. This Banqin water supply improvement project includes significant works such as the Jitan 2nd Raw Water Tunnel, the Jitan 6th Water Purification Facility, the main interconnecting pipeline from Guangfu Pumping Station to Xinjuang, Fuzhou Pumping Station, and other related projects. Ximin Reservoir is a multifunctional reservoir with functions such as irrigation, water supply, flood control, power generation, and tourism. It has a large catchment area, with the reservoir's after bay full water level at 137 meters. During the raining season, water is often released into the Dehan River and drawn at the Yuanshan Re pumping station. Yuan Shanwer is located at the junction of the Sanxia and Ingda districts on the Dehan River. The Banqin Water Purification Station has been drawing water from the current site of Yuan Shanwer since 1976. The Yuan Shanwer was built in 1983 for large scale water diversion. The Banqin Water Purification Station has two water intake points on the right bank, while the Tao Yuan Danan Water Purification Station draws water from the left bank. Yuan Shan Weir is a floating concrete weir with a caisson foundation infrastructure design, controlled by gates. The weir is 46 meters high and 246.5 meters long. The weir crest is 53.5 meters high and 10 meters wide. The weir base is 38.5 meters high and 20 meters wide. The spillway has 18 fixed wheel sluice gate, with a spillway capacity of 9,630 cubic meters per second. The total capacity is 4.39 million cubic meters. The catchment area is 88 square kilometers. Another headwater for the Banqin Water Purification Station comes from the Sanxia River. The Sanxia River Pumping Station is located in the Dapu section of the Sanxia River, a tributary of the Dehan River, about 12 kilometers from the confluence. It is a gravity intake point that officially started operating in April 1999. The pumping capacity is greatly affected by rainfall, with a maximum of about 530,000 cubic meters and a minimum of only about 30,000 cubic meters. The average daily extraction is about 150,000 to 250,000 cubic meters, supplementing the insufficient raw water volume of the Shimon Reservoir. Its water quality is better and can be sent directly to the Banqin Water Purification Station or stored at the Yuan Shan Weir for combined use. On August 23, 2004, Shimon Reservoir suffered the biggest typhoon since its operation Typhoon Airy, causing an 18-day major water outage in the Tao Yuan area. To quickly restore water supply from Shimon Reservoir and thoroughly improve the impact of high turbidity during typhoon and flood periods, the Shimon Reservoir and its catchment area management was implemented. 
After more than 10 years of efforts and reconstruction, the Zhongzhuang Retention Basin was completed and put into use in 2017. Zhongzhuang Retention Basin, with a total area of 87 hectares, is an off-stream reservoir and serves as a backup reservoir for Shimen Reservoir. It is located on the Dehan River section between Shimen Reservoir and Yuanshan Weir, about 1.1 kilometers downstream of Wuling Bridge. Its function is to provide an emergency backup water source when the turbidity of the raw water in Shimen Reservoir increases during typhoons, ensuring that the water supply for the Banshin and Tao Yuan areas is not affected while the reservoir is hydraulically removing silt during typhoons. The Zhongzhuang Retention Basin project includes four major parts, a weir across the Dehan River, an aqueduct, a retention basin, a water diversion conduit, and a management center. The weir is 200 meters long and 5 meters high with nine sluice gates, each sluice gate being 20 meters wide and 4 meters high, using flap sluice gates. The aqueduct uses box culverts for water transmission, a culvert 1.7 kilometers long, 3.2 meters wide, and 2.5 meters high. The Zhongzhuang Retention Basin has a free overflow weir, with a basin bottom elevation of 53 meters, an overflow top elevation of 68 meters, a water storage area of about 42.6 hectares, and a total storage capacity of about 5.06 million cubic meters. At the end of the basin, there is a water transmission gate, 2.5 meters wide and 2.5 meters high, capable of providing 800,000 cubic meters of raw water per day. The pipelines supply 300,000 cubic meters to the Danan Water Purification Station and 500,000 cubic meters to the Banshin Water Purification Station. The Banshin Water Purification Station currently has three water purification facilities. The first facility was completed in 1978, and the second in 1982, each with a daily output of 300,000 cubic meters. The third facility was completed in 1996, with a daily output of 600,000 cubic meters. The first purification facility includes a distribution well, two flash mixers, eight flocculation basins, ten sedimentation tanks, and ten rapid sand filters. The second facility includes a distribution well, two flash mixers, eight flocculation basins, eight sedimentation tanks, and eight rapid sand filters. The third facility includes two distribution wells, four flash mixers, 16 coagulation sedimentation tanks, and 16 rapid sand filters, as well as the clear water reservoirs of the first and second facilities, and the clear water reservoir, backwashing water tower, and chemical tanks of the third facility. Wastewater treatment equipment includes a wastewater basin, sludge sedimentation pool, pumping well, distribution well, sludge thickener, sludge conditioner, dewatering and sludge storage area. The raw water at Banshin Water Purification Station comes from the Sanxia River Pumping Station and the Yuanshan River Pumping Station. First, the raw water passes through the distribution well, where coagulants are added. The water is then sent to the flash mixers of each purification facility for rapid mixing, creating flocks. The water flows to the flocculation basins, where it is stirred by flocculators to form larger and heavier flocks. The water then enters the sedimentation tanks through a collecting channel for sedimentation, separating larger impurities. In the third purification facility, the flocculation basins and sedimentation tanks are combined into coagulation sedimentation tanks to increase the chances of collision and resedimentation of impurities. The water then flows into the rapid sand filters to remove fine impurities and microorganisms, and then into the clear water reservoirs. Chlorine is added in the clear water reservoirs for disinfection. The water is then distributed through the water distribution system to Sancheng, Zhonghe, Banxiao, Xinjuang, Luzhou, Wugu, Taishan, Bali, Shulin, Tuching, Sanxia, Inga, and other areas. The main domestic water supply in New Taipei City is provided by the Banxin Water Purification Station, primarily sourced from the Dehan River. Under the policy of transferring water from the north to the south and interregional water distribution, 
The main domestic water in New Taipei City now mainly comes from the Fitsui Reservoir and the Xindian River. The treated water from the Banxin Water Purification Station, as well as the water sources from the Ximin Reservoir and the Dahan River, support Tao Yuan and other areas. The allocation of water resources significantly impacts the lives of the people. Thanks to the efforts of public water supply projects and experts over the past century, Taiwan's tap water has reached a drinkable standard. Every drop of water we drink today has undergone a long journey and transformation, yet is provided at a price so low it's often taken for granted. We should be grateful for the efforts made by our predecessors in public water supply.